guys and welcome back to my channel so today's video is sponsored by Ali Pearl hair and I'll be doing an install with the wig that they sent to me now I'm just showing you guys what they sent to me inside the package but this is how the box came so look inside they sent me this head tie that I could either wear as like um a decorative accessories to your hair or you could use it to actually tie down your baby hairs when you're doing your install they sent me some lashes they sent me oh actually they actually sent me the thing the bun the hair tie that you could actually use to tie your hair down so i guess this is more of like a decorative like accessories to the hair so this is what i could use which i will be using to tie down my baby hairs or my lace to help it melt better they sent me some stocking cap which i will be using they sent me elastic band which you use to help i'll be using it so you guys will see like what i use it for um and they sent me baby hair combs not combs but a baby hair comb which i don't think i need to use it because i have a lot open but if you don't have one they'll send you one and they sent me some pack a uh, card that tells you how to care for your hair how to clean it comb dry all of that and they sent me a bag that you could put your wig in after you're done using it and obviously they sent me the wig so i'm gonna show you guys what the wig looks like this is the bag that the wig came in it is a 26 inch medium cap size 250 density and it is deep wave so i'm gonna be showing you guys what it looks like so right out the box um i took it and then i bleached it i did not pluck this hair and this is how the hairline came like i'm actually not going to do any form of plucking i'm actually just going to leave it like this because i really don't think i have to pluck it i did go ahead i like i said and bleach the hair but this is what the hairline is looking like all around so you really do not need to do any plucking i won't be doing any plucking i will be doing a side part with this wig but i'll be doing a um a zigzag side part i've seen it so i'm going to be trying that today so i like to go in and i like to customize my wig before actually putting it on my head because i feel like it's way better and it actually it takes off a lot of work from you and it makes it very very easy to do your install without any interruption so I'm trying something new like I said you know normally people do um, normally people do like a straight side part I'm trying to do a zigzag side part so parted <laughs> the obvious then i'm going in with my hot comb and i'm just pretty much getting it flat honestly this hot comb for some reason it gets the hair way way flatter than um the kendra's boutique and they both go to 5500 degrees so i'm so confused but this actually gets gets really really hot so i'm just using like my gray hair combed and I don't know if I said it in the beginning that the hair was over bleached, but it's fine. You could always go in with this baby, not baby hair, but gray hair um, dye. And it pretty much just covers the areas that's over bleached. So yeah, this is the wig. This is how the, I saw the inside of the wig looks. It is deep wave, like I mentioned before. 
26 inches <laughs> that's want to make sure it says 26 inches 250 density but yeah this is how it's looking i'm going to go ahead and install the wig so right now i'm just adding my foundation did my back cap method and everything i'm just adding my foundation and then i'm going to go ahead and make sure to clean off the excess glue and use the skin protectant spray to make sure my skin is protected <laughs> beautiful this lace was quality was a one it stretches very thin well thin enough um and it was literally my skin like look at that you can't even tell that I, there's an actual like the lace is still on my head if i'm not actually pulling it or moving it that's how you know you have a real hd lace and not hd cousin because a lot of companies will send quote unquote HD laces to you guys and then when you try to put it on it's not really HD lace but yeah this was actually HD lace for You guys see this um but anyways when i cut the lace off there's going to be like white things on it that's just because i didn't allow it to dry more but in the end it's not gonna like you know it's gonna come out properly it's gonna come out good so don't even get surprised or like you know overreact don't worry it's gonna look nice when you lay your baby ears over it it's not really gonna be a bother but yeah, I'm using my razor to cut, the, to cut the lace off. Sometimes I use the scissors, but when you're using the scissors, you really have to move your wrist to go in a jaggedy motion. So it's best to just use the razor because the razor already has the edges that will automatically make it look like it's jaggedy instead of having to like twist your scissors or whatever. So yeah, I'm just going to cut it
inside the package to make sure your wig is laid properly for example the elastic band and not the headband so you use the elastic band to melt the lace on your in your glue um, and then you use the headband to make sure your baby hairs are laid so with that being said you get everything in this package every single thing that you need to put a wig on except for like the products but like tools um such as like the baby hair comb the headband the elastic band they provide you with that and it's good quality like this hair was actually so thick so nice and it was so soft like honestly i have it on right now and every second i am like just running my hands through it like there's no way this hair is so soft like it's actually so soft 10 out of 10 for me okay was actually full you know how some company will tell you it's 250 when it's not they will tell you it's 26 inches when it's not this year was actually 26 inches actually 250 density very full like loved it loved it so to define my curls I go in with some water then I use the Cantu curl activator and then some mousse. You could use whatever mousse you have as long as it's like a curling mousse, you'll be fine. You don't have to use the curl activator activator either. You could use just water and the mousse, but I use all three. Water, the curl activator and mousse because it just defines the curl a little bit more. And it helps make the hair a little bit softer, especially like the Cantu curling activator. It makes the hair a little bit more softer as opposed to like sometimes when you use mousse, the mousse will kind of give it like a crunchy feel and you don't really want that. the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to, su to subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you are notified whenever i post and leave all your comments down below the links to the hair will be in the description box so if you guys want to get this wig definitely check the description box but yeah thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this one and i will definitely see you guys in my next one bye